everybody, this is John Small with Johnson County Sentinel, inviting you to view these highlights from the 2018 Memorial Day program at the Johnson County War Memorial here in Tishomingo. I don't know, I don't know but it's got to be getting close. Heavenly Father, we gather here today on this very, very special day, a day that's been set aside to remind us of the sacrifice that was paid for the many freedoms that we enjoy, a day that was set aside to honor those who have paid the ultimate price for our freedoms, who have made the ultimate sacrifice in service to our country. Well, say does the star-spangled I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. You heard, hear your melody called? Please stand. Master Sergeant Don H. Nichols. Before we go too far, though, I have a question to ask Don, because when I was reading through his biography and checking up on some of his military information, I became quite curious about something. Don, are you afraid of heights? Afraid of what? Heights. Heights? Yeah. I know. All right. Because I noticed the first place you went, not to me, it was only 39 feet above sea level. The Inawok, over in uh, Italy, I believe it was, 16 feet above sea level. Da Nang, 33 feet above sea level. <laughs> Donna served as the commander for the American Legion Post up until 2015. That's when I took over. He is still to this day writes a column for our Johnson County Sentinel, our local Legion Post. Would you like to say anything? Thank you for all the hard work you took over from me. You're a good fetter. I like you.
We're trying, Don. It's a privilege for me to be here today as your state senator, and it's an honor to be able to represent you in the state legislature. But I am prouder to be here as a veteran, and I'm also the proud son of a veteran. My father was a veteran of World War II and landed at Normandy. He fought in Korea and Vietnam, and I am very proud of his service. Today we are gathered here to remember and honor our heroes. They may be family members and they may be friends. See, we know that world peace is still a very noble cause. Peace has always been a worthy dream, a dream of our nation. But as we all know, we live in a very troubled world. The quiet courage of ordinary people serving our nation has ensured that our freedoms are secure for the future. Our military is and always has been a force for peace, but we have not yet achieved that permanent peace that we all long for. But that does not mean that the contribution of our heroes is any less significant. Our hope is that future generations will one day enjoy peace, a peace that will endure forever. Oh, beautiful, for heroes proved with liberating strife, whose more than self their country's love and mercy more than life. America, America, God shed His grace on M. Ellis, Samson and Sharkey, Marion C. Fight, Ratliff, but we honor all POW MIAs. Thanking you for the men and women you created, who gave their lives for this country, for this state, for our freedom.